What up guys, this week I'm back for another review and with one of our most favorite companies which is Flagship Pomade. Um, so essentially they're releasing a new matte paste product as far as we are aware of they are releasing it this Friday on March 30th, I believe it's March 30th. But we'll keep you guys updated and let you guys know about that. But we got kind of like a beforehand look and of course we're very excited to use it. We'll go ahead and look at it up close. So, I mean, right off the bat, you notice that it's a smaller jar right away. So this is a three ounce jar. I uh, wanted to let you guys know that it's still labeled four ounces, but that is a miscorrection. Um, that will be fixed later on. Uh, flagship matte paste on the front has a nice metallic silver finish, much more simpler. Also, it looks like the logo is a lot more modern. It got a little updated since the last time we looked at it, which was quite a while ago. Ingredients on one side, directions on another. Um, plastic amber jar um, with a black metal lid and opening it up you can definitely see that it looks distinctively different from what we've seen from flagship before but let's go ahead and start using it so I don't know if like the cut has just got me like just hungry and craving as fuck but like the smell of it reminds me of donuts so good old buttermilk, old fashioned donuts. And that's what it literally smells like to me. So right now, because I'm like starving right now, it smells amazing, makes me actually very hungry. But overall, like the, the smell is, it's not like sweet and it's kind of sticky, like um, the smell of donuts or kind of greasy, but kind of imagining that, that smooth sweetness. Not vanilla, or at least not, I don't think vanilla, but something that's kind of reminiscent of like kind of like a lemon cake or like a lemon cookie, something that is smooth, slightly citrusy, but just very smooth and slightly sweet. But let's go ahead and start using it. So we've seen quite a few matte paces um, at this point. I mean, we've seen stuff from like Old Dude's Sheer Revival. And from a paste, we expect it to be pretty easy to scoop out. And so this one is definitely on the thicker side. It's a little more difficult to scoop out. However, you can still relatively like manageably scoop it out. It's on the dry side, so more waxy than pasty really. But we'll see whether or not it follows still along the line for styling. And typically what we've seen from flagships that they've always been a little more, not brutal, but their products have been a lot more resilient than others and a lot like stronger. So, you can see it's already very grippy and we'll see how well it applies to the hair just because how grippy it already got in my hands it's not exactly the like the smoothest or softest product so far and so I'm wondering how well the product would even transition from my hands to my hair and whether or not it would be like a comfortable process so scoop out a little more and I'm guessing the reason why there is a lot less product this time around is just that um, you don't need anywhere nearly as much product as with like a standard pomade with this product. And no lie right now, the application process is relative to a pomade much like more difficult. The reason why we typically use paste pomades and kind of I would guess the reason why we define things as a paste pomade and I wouldn't really define this as a paste pomade is that you take advantages of a paste mix it in with the kind of like the ease and simplicity of use of a pomade and what you get is something that kind of is a hybrid of both and kind of optimizes between the two this one however is a lot more reminiscent of other paste we've seen at the same time it's been a lot thicker than like other ones we've seen so to use this you would have to be accustomed to what kind of like salon market has typically offered with the paste and able to kind of break away from a traditional feel of a pomade and we'll see whether we can do that today but overall application 
like it's really hard to compare this to a pomade. It's a lot more difficult. It's a lot drier. It's a lot more grippy. And it's relative to your pomade, which is like smooth and easy to like work with, this is much more difficult to apply to the hair. But we'll see whether or not we can even style with this thing. So let's go ahead and just comb everything back for now. So if you notice in between the shots, I've wetted my hair. So while I was moving the camera, I figured, like, I mean, my hair was towel dry, but it also had become air dry. The product recommends, like, applying this to towel dried hair. So I went ahead and, like, kind of just wetted my hair a bit and kind of tried working in the product again, and it was completely different, much easier. So definitely, the, th the thing there is, do not do it like me or what I just did, apply it to completely dried hair. Definitely go for, like, a towel dried hair, just because this product is very grippy wetting it kind of kind of like kind of dissolves it a bit in a way makes it a little easy to work with a little, a little easier to dissolve through before it goes ahead and dries up again and becomes a lot more of like a texture paste type of product but anyways now that we have it in correctly and also now that we can work with it comfortably let's go ahead and start styling it So I mean, this is a damn high volume product. I mean, we have not seen a product provide this much hold in a very long time. And without being like a super heavy weight oil base or something that is just insanely strong. Yes, it's brutal to some extent, but as long as you apply it correctly, it's actually pretty reasonable to work with. And like, you can kind of see just the process in which I had to style it. I did have to go ahead and form like a head cone and then pull it forward. And that's really reminiscent of something that is like super strong, like where the wax is very present. And you can work with, work with this. I was able to bring it forward. The texture is actually very lovely and overall, like very impressed. And especially impressed with just the amount of volume that I can get out of this product. It's actually pretty ridiculous while still feeling like extremely lightweight. And so, I guess, to go back through everything, the consistency out of the jar, it's honestly too thick to be called like a paste. Typically with a paste, you expect it to be a little creamy, a little wetter, a little, a little easier to scoop out. But it is manageable to scoop out. Application, you must do it to towel dried hair. Your hair has to be moist to some extent. Do not apply it to completely dry hair. It'll make a world of a difference, and yeah. The shine, I would definitely say it's a slight matte, uh, about a solid like a uh, matte like below neutral. We'll see how like how long this really keeps matte throughout the day. Um, the texture is very coarse, um, yet you can also get some really fine, a few like fine straight hairs. But the wax does provide some stick, so you can go ahead and keep those in control. But for the most part, the texture is gonna lend to a coarseness just because of the stickiness. Um, the strength, unbelievable very strong very damn strong and very lightweight now the control it's a lot less intuitive to use in comparison to many other pomades we've used it's definitely like not for your first time like a uh, pomade user or any like someone who's just starting for the pom definitely someone who's very comfortable not only styling a clean pompadour but very like a very loose a very textured one someone who already knows the hair very well if you do know your hair very well, this can kind of really take you to that next level, really take you far and really open a lot of doors. But you have to be very comfortable with your hair to do it. But yeah, so see how it holds throughout the whole day. Though I have very high hopes just because of how brutally strong it is. But yeah, see you guys in a few hours. Okay, let's go ahead and finally wrap up this review. So. We are now through about like, honestly, 10 hours of testing, so let's go ahead and conclude it. Um, so, it was very resilient. It's not impregnable, but the product was very resilient. And I still, right now, have a lot of product to even like style with. I mean, what really like, kind of retains itself and kind of like survives throughout the whole day is like, uh, 
the stickiness, the dryness, that, that, that strong waxiness is what really saves. So you can get a lot of the volume back. You still push towards like a coarse texture. And for the most part, the finish has really maintained kind of maybe a little bit closer to neutral now, but still on the matte end of the spectrum. Um, nice thing is I really felt like nothing was in the hair the whole day, though once you touch it, it definitely feels like something's in the hair. But if you just don't touch it, then like you, I mean, it doesn't feel heavy. And so you don't really, you will like forget about it. You won't really notice it won't feel groggy or anything, which is pretty nice. Uh, though it feels dry and the stickiness is really dry, it doesn't actually feel like in an unhealthy way for your hair to dry. Like your hair itself doesn't feel dry. And washing it out, you can get it out with just water and so that removal is easy despite how strong it is. So overall, this does receive my seal of approval just because it's pretty damn unique. I mean, if you apply the dry hair like I did mistakenly at the beginning, it's horrid, but if you apply the towel dried hair and you have water to kind of moisten it up, it goes in very easily and it's able to work itself around. Now styling is actually very impressive. This thing is damn strong. It is super strong. One of the strongest things we've ever seen here like on this blog. Yeah, it's still very lightweight, provides good texture, is very resilient throughout, throughout the whole day and so just overall Though it may not be the most intuitive thing to style with, it is a very like high potential product. It allows you to do a lot, and so that's why it receives my sale of approval. Now, as far as I'm aware, it's going to be released on Friday, um, which is um, the upcoming Friday. And so, if any updates to that release date are made known to us, then we'll go ahead and pass it on to you guys. But I do expect at least you'll be able to use the POP, all caps, promo code, save a bit of money when you order this from flagship as long as you order it directly from flagship flagship but yeah so hope you guys got something out of this review and take care guys